I'm very excited, and I know my 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 brother. Daily, the system grinds on our mind. Yeah. Herb reconnects us to the art of time. Mm. Lies they teach, they don't educate. Oh no. Herb wise eyes see and penetrate. I'm the bush mama, I promote the marijuana. It's a medicine to men, but I must mention. Feel the spiritual connection when you smoke, focus your attention. Well, today uh, we had a hearing on House Bill 1371. Um, the Taxation and Regulation of Cannabis in the State of Massachusetts. Uh, submitted and written by Dick Evans, if I'm not, not wrong, I believe. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of people in there. This is really awesome. Unfortunately, I was able to write a testimony today, um, as always. Um, but as always, there's a ton, a ton of support in there. So the line to get in front of the board and the committee is pretty extensive. Um, so extensive to the fact that when I first arrived, there was no moderator at the front door to even take my testimony or for me to even sign up. So I'm assuming that's them telling the public that the list is way too big, um, which is awesome. It's exactly what we need. Um, we got Bill Downing inside passing out some, some regulation and taxation stickers. We got everybody wearing them so the board can know who is there and why they are here. Um, it's going to be a good day. It's going to be another long day for marijuana reform at the Massachusetts State House. But um, we're going to be here. I unfortunately have to go back to work right now. You know, I've got to pay the bills. But hopefully I'll get out at 5. Um, I have a class tonight, but who knows? Maybe uh, see who's still here, pop back in. Maybe I can even testify tonight, which would be really awesome. So, so how many uh, students do you think are here? You're, you're from Suffolk Normal. How yeah, many? from uh, from Suffolk. Or oh, just in general, in Suffolk oh, and all the other schools. In general, um, you know, to be honest, there everybody that's standing up there right now is. It looks like a student. It, it, the student population, I think, is one of the biggest ones I've seen at a hearing. Is today. Um, there was one last year that we had when I had when uh, Steve Epstein got in front of everybody and he had the huge mask flag and he's like this is why we're here and you know that was one of the, the the more fun days for the students because he was talking about the student name and the student voice and why we were there and why our reasons for being there um, but today it's really good for student voice there's a lot of people there from different schools I've seen a lot of familiar faces at a little a bunch of people and this is what it's really all about is to see everybody in, in you know BU and Emerson and Tufts and all these SSDP chapters and normal come together one day the entire year to talk about marijuana reform in front of our representatives. Even the students going to class seem to, like, they, they, they know they oh, can't yeah. come in, but they're like, oh, what's yeah. up? We, we, we just walked right out of the door, and uh, you know, a couple students just saw us, and they said, how's it going in there? And we're just like, oh, it's, we're still going, we're still fighting, so everyone's aware, but the people that aren't here are definitely still in class thinking about us, and that's and What that's do you think about, uh, someone recently said that Mass Can is dead. What Mass Can is what? Is dead. Dead. What do you think about MassCan and the local community right now? Well, I guess as far as the interwebs go, as of yesterday, I haven't been able to get on the MassCan website. Um, it's up now. So it is up now. Um, for 24, 24 hours, hours, that'll happen. Um, but, you know, MassCan, MassCan's never never dead. I don't think it'll ever die. I think there's much more to MassCan than the kind of BS that some people see in the meetings or kind of the BS that's talked about outside of the meetings. MassCan is so much more than somebody walking into one of those meetings and saying, we need to do this, and somebody yelling at that person that we need to do that. There's so much more to that. I, I know there's going to be new elections coming up sooner or later. There's going to be new leadership for MassCan, whether people like it or not. And I think this is the point, and this is the time when that needs to happen. I think younger people need to get more involved with MassCan. We have, it's, it's been not the older, older crowd running MassCan, but it's kind of been the um, above the college student age running MassCan. I think the student voice is extremely important as we can see inside the state house, and as we can see with Suffolk Normal here in full force. I'm making sure, that's the first question I ask is, are you registered to vote in the state of Massachusetts? How do you think it went? I think it went pretty well. I think it went pretty well. Um, it's definitely nerve wracking being up there, but I think it was good that I said what I had to say. I let them know why I see the war on drugs as a failure, and then I let them know a story from their front lawn of this very state house regarding myself getting an incident where I got stabbed six times for a small personal amount of marijuana. I brought up that this would not happen for a six pack of beer, or would have not happened for a pack of cigarettes. They, they really looked shocked when you brought up that story. Yeah. That, they were like, 
I saw some draws. Yeah, oh, one. definitely. That's exactly what I was going for because when you bring up a story from the front lawn of this very state house, they have to listen. And I really hope I got under their skin a little bit. And I think I did. I think I did. They sat there without asking questions to anybody all day and then all of a sudden drilled me with a bunch of them. What about this? What about this? And I, I hope that it went well. I think that it did. Did you hear the applause? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. That was good to hear. It's good to hear my, my supporters, you know, praising me. Yeah, even uh, uh, Flaherty, what did he say about it? About your deal? Oh, so, he, he, you can pat him on the back on the way out, but please, so that uh, so that everybody can testify in an honest manner. Please keep it, keep the applause. And then he, at the end, he called them your... Oh, my uh, fan club or something like that. Yeah. yeah, that was good. That was definitely good. Pretty much, like I said, our generation is very outspoken. And... 30 years ago, you didn't have to worry about financial aid being taken away. Personally, I got arrested over the summer for marijuana, and I was very, very scared of losing my financial aid. If I lost my financial aid, I wouldn't be able to come to Suffolk anymore. I wouldn't be able to express how much SG Normal means to me because I wouldn't be a part of Suffolk, and I think that's a huge, huge deal. And for these kids to be able to express their mind and be able to do this is just really great and I'm very happy. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, graduated, working full time, you know, loving the state I'm in. And why, why are you in this specific spa right now? <sighs> Making some uh, runs around to see the folks, taking the girlfriend out, heard about the very important taxation bill that's going through. You know, showing my support to this gentleman that I've known for a while. It support. seems like it seems like you, everyone walking by seems to know you guys. Uh, that's, that's what we try to do. Even Be the ones who can't go in, they're this is like, what "We started. <laughs> this is what we do." Biggest student organization on campus, Mike. So, yes. that, what are we at right now? We're at 1,600 students, administrators, faculty, staff. It's it's absolutely absurd just the way this thing blew up. And that's law students, graduate students too. Yeah. I'm a graduate student now. I'm not even an undergrad, and we're still rocking the boat. So, yeah. this is what the fourth year we've been in at it. Year number four, founding in October of 2008. Yes, sir. We've got D. Crim going. By We've been four lonely on boys who wanted to make it right. Oh, yeah. This is uh, ex treasurer of SU Normal, founding treasurer. Yes, yes. I get the most heat when I'm asking for the most money. <laughs> yes. So, you guys must be really happy. Yeah, very, very excited. Very happy, yeah. very proud is a good way to put it. Um, you know, this is the first year that I wasn't actually able to uh, man the group and be the president of the group. So, it was a little. A little hard, given that last handshake, and we had uh, we had the passing of the joint at the Freedom Rally this past September. Yeah. Um, I smoked a joint, lit it up, and passed it to the new president of SU Normal. It was a great, great spectacle over on the bandstand, and uh, yeah, to a new beginning. Yeah, it's doing really well. They had uh, who do we? We had um, not Dick Evans, but uh, Jack Cole from Leap last week, and it was an incredible event. Jack Cole is the man, and we're working with next big project. He's working with Adam Scorgi on his new uh, nice. The Culture High film. So. Awesome. We're very, very excited. Future plans, as always, for SU Normal. It went better than I thought it would. Um, I brought up a bunch of hemp products and I explained how cannabis is a blanket term for all sorts of hemp products. Um, hemp milk, um, industrialized hemp. Uh, we're importing products from Canada and putting it on our grocery store shelves. So I think one of the members of the committee actually jumped at me and said, wait a minute, you actually bought that in a Massachusetts grocery store? Um, I thought that was excellent. And they were asking us questions um, about uh, the THC content in cannabis and how that affects other cannabis products. Um, you know, there is a 0.3% or lower uh, THC content for hemp products, and they, after this, they didn't even know. Uh, they were surprised that I was able to get hemp oil at a grocery store. So there was a lot of education happening in the courtroom today.